For Dr. Norman Borlaug, the struggle to feed a growing population was a lifetime challenge. Dr. Borlaug's work in hybridizing rice and wheat that would produce in difficult conditions earned him the 1970 Nobel Peace Prize. He was lauded for saving more human lives than any other person who has ever lived. Dr. Borlaug helped establish the World Food Prize in 1986, and each year the award recognizes work that increases the production of food around the globe. The last 100 years has seen the greatest increase in food production since the beginning of agriculture and has helped propel the growth of the human population. But an increasing population demands a larger and higher quality diet, which places a growing burden on the world's agricultural acres. The activities of billions of humans also increases the amount of carbon in the atmosphere, which, according to climate scientists, is changing climates, adding difficulty to maintaining the yields of the world's farms. The discovery that soils can be a solution to both of these challenges has earned the World Food Prize for Dr. Ratan Lal of Ohio State University. A refugee from Pakistan as a child, the family of Dr. Lal had one and a half acres of ground to sustain themselves near Delhi, India. The soil fascinated young Dr. Lal. After achieving academic success in India, Dr. Lal began graduate work at Ohio State University. After graduation, Dr. Law was recruited to establish a soil science institute in Nigeria. His focus was on soil erosion and degradation, which is a common problem for small stakeholder farmers globally. A lack of soil carbon and organic matter limited production in harsh climates, and common agricultural practices also depleted soils. Law's experiments and research into increasing organic matter in soils led to techniques that reduce soil erosion through no-till, cover cropping, and mulching, while also increasing yields. Scientists from around the world frequently traveled to his institute in Nigeria to learn the new techniques firsthand. Dr. Law began researching at Ohio State University in 1987. His work determined that restoring degraded soils through increasing soil carbon and organic matter improved soil health and also counteracts rising carbon dioxide levels by sequestering atmospheric carbon. The publication of his work in 2004 garnered international attention. The idea that climate change could be slowed through soil management changed the view of soil. Dr. Law established the Carbon Management and Sequestration Center at Ohio State University in 2000. The center studies the interaction of the atmosphere with soil. Dr. Law has become one of the world's most prolific soil scientists, with over 100,000 citations of his work. I strongly believe that health of soil, plants, animals, people, and ecosystems is one and indivisible. Law's research confirms that growing crops from healthy soils produces more from less, more food from fewer acres, requiring fewer chemicals, less tillage, less water, and less energy. Reducing atmospheric carbon dioxide levels with better soil management techniques provides a path to slowing the effects of climate change. A career in soil research, resulting in soil management discoveries that improve the human condition, has earned Dr. Law the 2020 World Food Prize. When the Green Revolution of the 60s was a great success, the soil-centric approach ensures long-term sustainability of agroecosystems by reconciling the need for increasing food production with the necessity of improving the environment, with a specific focus on restoration of soil health and quality of water and air. Two billion people are malnourished due to lack of micronutrients and deficiency of protein. The current and future increase in global temperatures may reduce the economic yield of staple food crops, increase demand for irrigation water and other inputs, and accelerate risks of soil degradation through increase in precipitation intensity and aridity. The 2020 World Food Prize Award to me is a recognition of the importance of protecting and restoring health of the finite and fragile soil resources through sequestration of soil organic carbon by adoption of conservation effective measures. There's a strong need for a paradigm shift toward making agriculture an integral part of the solution and empowering farmers and land managers to produce more and more from less and less 
by reducing waste, enhancing eco-efficiency, restoring degraded soils, afforesting the denuded lands, and saving soil and water for nature. The importance of soil, plant, animal, human, and environment health nexus can never be overemphasized. It's not a question of either or. We must have both. It's critical to minimize our dependence on agrochemicals. As Mahatma Gandhi advised, to forget how to dig the earth and tend the soil is in fact to forget ourselves. Therefore, it's essential to adopt the concept of eco-intensification of agroecosystems for producing more from less. Less land, less agrochemicals, less tillage, less irrigation water, and less energy use so that we can save resources for nature.